host of Humanity Matters. Now many of you have seen my videos. And of course you know my co-host, Monel Jones III. And of course you know my other co-host, Albert R. Goldsmith. So you've seen Humanity Matters. And of course I have another show called A Caring Nation. Well, America, and for that matter, the entire planet. Myself and Mr. Jones recently did two new shows. A Caring Nation, which is my other series, and we did two episodes. One was Wake Up America, and the other one was Now That Ain't Right. I'm a big Chris Rock fan. For those of you who know comedy, you know Chris Rock. Or you know of Chris Rock. So I like Chris Rock. And I like how comedians in general, through comedy, bring real social problems to you. But I like Chris Rock, and one of his routines, he likes to say, Now that ain't right. I can't quite do it like Chris Rock. Because there's only one Chris, Chris Rock. But I like that. He'll, he'll have a kind of an interesting expression. He'll be like, now that ain't right. I like Chris Rock. So I thought, you know, I'm going to do a second show. And I'm going to name it A Caring Nation. Now that ain't right. So we went and we filmed two shows on Tuesday. This, yeah, that's right. Tuesday the 17th of June, 2008. I want to make sure I had the date right. But it was Tuesday... The 17th of June, 2008. We did Wake Up America, and Now That Ain't Right. Both A Caring Nation, the series A Caring Nation. Now there is differentiation between Humanity Matters and A Caring Nation. Humanity Matters works very hard to talk about the positive, but we're very mild, very low-key, very family-oriented. Whereas with a caring nation, we still have all those prerequisites, but it's more a level up. We get to the business at hand. Sometimes I may say a hell and a damn, in fact. But there's a reason why I'm tougher on that show. The reason is, that's the side of me that is fed up with business as usual. That is fed up with us not getting where we should be as a people, as Americans, and for that matter, as human beings around the globe. So on a caring nation, I get pretty fired up. And even Mr. Jones got a little bit fired up. And I'll tell you something. You may not like anything I do, may not agree with anything I say, but when we have a caring nation, both episodes, a Caring Nation, Wake Up America, you need to watch that entire hour. And when we have A Caring Nation, now that ain't right, you need to watch that entire hour. Not because it's going to help my ratings, because frankly, it's public access and it's the internet, and I'm not making a dime. As a matter of fact, it costs me money to do, to do my, and produce my shows. It's very nominal, but it costs me money. I'm not making a dime. So as a matter of fact, if there are other producers and news corporations and producers and whomever out there who would like to hire myself or Mr. Jones, you need to contact me at actoraj at actoraj.com. And I believe it's Linnell Jones 1901 at comcast.com. Now, we can be motivational speakers. And, of course, you know we're good at doing hosting. But I want you to watch these shows, not because of me, not because of Linnell, not because we're good or bad. I want you to watch these shows in their entirety, the entire two hours, separately, obviously. I want you to watch them because it's really about you. And it's about our morale. I've done about five shows recently dealing with morale. But the thing is, is it repetitive? Sure. But we have to think for a minute. 
How many times are we told we can do it? How many times are we trying, I mean, are we getting inspiration and motivation? You know, I love America. And I love this planet, the planet Earth. That means I care about all six billion human beings. I know it's a hard thing to get into our head here. I actually care. And no, I'm not a sucker. But why you should watch this show is it may be the vehicle that gives you the motivation to do something you've been wanting to do for all your life and you've been told you can't. But we're telling you, yes, you can. I did a show, Humanity Matters, Yes, You Can, in 2007. And it was on a topic that many of you would never have listened to. But the point is, when I say yes, we can, or yes, you can, I'm saying that for a reason. You have a brain. And you have a know-how. What you've been missing is the encouragement, the inspiration, and the mindset. You know, we many times in life are put in a position we didn't want, we didn't expect, frankly we don't even know how to react to many times. And there's some soda there, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, it's in my kitchen. But anyway, hey. But we, we, for whatever way, for whatever reason, we get put in a position where maybe we can say one or two words that's going to help impact a person's life. So all of my shows are not really about me. They're not really about Mr. Jones. They're about us. Us as human beings. And specifically, us as Americans. For too long. America has been on a down, downward spiral when it comes to our morale. And we're looking at our economy in 2008. The dollar is dramatically down. The price of corn is raising, rising up to almost $8 per bushel. Gasoline right now is actually at $4.10 or more per gallon. And the economy and the stocks, everything's going bad in America. Now we got a real chance today and every day that we wake up in America, wake up in America. We have a real chance to turn all that around. And no matter what pundits tell you, no matter what economists tell you, every one of us working together can change the face of this nation again. That's what my shows are about. But it's more than that. 